greatest band ever. Um, let's get ready. Yeah. Yeah. They go. I don't know if it's the same people or not, but <laughs> you can't tell in those damn helmets. But right? <laughs> there's a couple guys in that band that were there when I got the head coaching job in 1972. <laughs> so they, some of them are, are veterans. I stopped one of them uh, outside and said, uh, can you guys, I'm tired of listening to those same old tunes. And the guy said, yeah. So we're tired of listening to those same old jokes that you, that you tell. But, uh, but that's a great group of people and, and you know, just the best. Uh, you know, we're all worried about our seats in the Coliseum, and there's a lot of anxiety. Ron Orr is, is nervous all the time. Uh, I had a personal involvement with this seating thing, and you get a sense of how precious all these seats are when you have, you know, when you deal with somebody on a personal basis. Beverly and I have seats, and Ron's given us great seats, and we're right next to an old couple that has been going since the 1940s, I think. They've been there. Uh, Lynn and, and Betty, I think, are their names. And they've been there, and they're the greatest people. They don't yell at the coaches or anything. They just cheer. And, and they've gotten a little older. And, 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 I, and I go and I'll get food for them and stuff. So... So it's, a, it's been a great relationship. And last year at the Arizona game, he's not there. So it's just Betty, and she's sitting there by herself, and we come in town and say, so where's Lynn? So well, Lynn passed away. And I oh my God, what, you know, that's terrible. And I, and I looked over at the seat and her by herself, and I said, is there, isn't there friends or family? Don't you have any children that, that would come with you and sit in that seat? And she said, no, no. I said, how about friends, neighbors, anybody? She said, no. She said, they're all at the funeral. <laughs> and I, so those are the kind of people we run did you see him trying to move her? Uh, say hello to the one of the great Trojans, and every he knows every single person in this room. Ron Moore, stand up, Ron. Say hello. We've uh, we've done about 214 of these this spring, it seems like. Uh, it's about our sixth or seventh, and we go to San Francisco tomorrow. Uh, then the coaches get to get to enjoy a little bit of time before they get going. Uh, I'm happy to report both our teams are undefeated. Uh, <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. That, you know, every co both, both coaches will take it right now. Hell yeah, it's undefeated. Uh, so, uh, and, and it's, a, it's a great time. Uh, Andy uh, and I got to be friends early in, in the, uh, early in his time here, but his second year, uh, the basketball team went to Europe and uh, Andy took us with him and, we, and it was great. Uh, we, had a, we had a great time. And prior to us going, I was supposed to go in and take him, pick him up, take him to an event similar to this. It was up in, in L.A. And he's staying at a hotel, and I drive up there and and uh, am supposed to drive up to the hotel to get him and bring him uh, to the event. And I'm there and waiting for him and kind of sitting outside of the hotel, and eventually he comes down comes and gets in the car and gets in the back seat. <laughs> and I'm saying, well, this is a football school. No, 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 no. <laughs> and, uh, the basketball coach, you know, and, and, and he hands me a chauffeur's cap. <laughs> and I said, hey, I used to be able to shut up and drive. 
That's what you're here for, just drive. So I'm driving, going as fast as I can, and trying to get to this event. And he's sitting in the back seat on his cell phone like he's an executive or something. Uh, uh, and, uh, and sure enough, I'm going so fast, the cop stops us. Light flashing in the, in the, in the thing. And Andy, uh, Andy is, you know, kind of grumbling and such in the back seat. Cop comes up to the window and he rolls down the window and I, and I say, you know, officer, what I do? I didn't do anything. And, and the policeman said, well, first of all, you do not have your seatbelt on. I said, well, I, yeah, I did. I had my seatbelt on. He said, no, you didn't. And, and I was, you know, things were going bad. I was, <laughs> I was kind of losing hair. And I thought, ah, maybe this will work. So I said, officer, in the back seat, is a new basketball coach at SC, a great guy, great student of the game, MBA experience, uh, was just, you know, in the Sweet 16 and in the NC train, and the cop looks in and says, hey, coach, he said, I'm a great basketball fan. I, I, oh, man, am I glad to see you. You're going to make a great difference at SC. And I said, well, why don't we let him decide whether I have my seatbelt on? <laughs> And the cop says, okay. I said, Coach Enfield did this jerk have a seatbelt on or not? And Andy just got our friendship off to a great start. He said, you know, got that head coaching look and said, Officer, I know all about this man. I've known him for years, which was a lie. But he said, anyway, he said, I've known this guy for years, and I know better than to ever argue with him when he's been drinking. <laughs> now how in the hell are you supposed to like a guy that does that too? But we had a great time and, and of course Clay Hilton has come in and you know he has a stat and I, I, I shouldn't do this to him. His team has not lost a game in the Coliseum since he's been here. 16 in a row. Now neither John McCain nor Doing that to well, we've got two basketball, uh, one basketball player, actually two basketball players, but uh, Tyler Vaughn retired from basketball after his senior year in high school. Uh, but uh, we have uh, Tyler Vaughn is here. He uh, uh, was a freshman wide receiver uh, from Bishop Amon High School. Uh, he was an outstanding high school player, caught as a freshman 57 passes which is really impressive. Uh, and I think you all know, nobody knew much about him. All of a sudden in the third game, he's he's out there playing and, and got 57 grabs. So he's headed for a really great career. So would you please welcome Tyler Rawls. Derek Thornton is a, a young man that grew up in Southern California, went to school in Las Vegas, and was ranked one of the top 15 high school players coming out of high school his senior year. Went to Duke. He went down there to do missionary work, that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> he was one of the real, started, uh, uh, I think, 10 or 12 games in Duke. Uh, decided he missed Southern California and has come back. He's probably going to be the starting point guard this year. Uh, he's, he's like all these guys. Uh, when you ask him about anything, all they do is, is do that. Any basketball player I've ever known just thinks shoot the ball. We'll find out if he can do anything else. <laughs> Derek Thornton, come on up.
Derek, you won the contest for the best shoes. Now, I can tell you, those are good looking shoes. Well, how come you don't have a pair of those? Hell, you caught 50 balls, and you can look at that shoe. Look at this shoes at home. Yeah. You, you got any good ones at home? Do? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Uh, well, you should have worn them. This is Newport Beach. <laughs> this is Newport Beach here, you know. <laughs> Tell us about a uh, great time of year for basketball. Are you a Warriors fan or a Cleveland fan? Um, I would say I'm more of a Warriors fan just from being the West Coast. So I have to say I'm a Warriors fan. Now, I heard you tell me that you could shoot a lot better than Seth Curry. Is that true? <laughs> um, I feel like I'm a great shooter. He's also a great shooter. So I think <laughs> yeah. Whoa. All right. Uh, Tyler, how about, how about you tell us about your freshman year? Nobody really knew who in the hell you were. Now, you know, you were not the most, you know, you didn't come in as most freshmen do. So. All of a sudden, you're out there playing, making all those catches. Uh, pretty exciting, wasn't it? It was very exciting. I mean, away from my opportunity and everything like that. So um, once I got my opportunity, I just ran with it. Uh, and you got 57 catches and, what, 12 or 14 yards per catch? Something, something like yeah. that. You, so you can get down in the field a little bit. That's or does Sam hold the ball, held the ball a long time? <laughs> 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 uh, he did it at the right time. Now, did you pray, and I was asking him earlier, did he pray for Sam to come back one more year? What? Yes. <laughs> he tried to lie to me and say, oh, no, if it was bull, you want to, you want But we've got good guys coming, yeah, right? Yeah, our new quarterback still. And you guys are, are, and you are in an offense that creates stuff for the passing game, right? Now, do you have to block? Is that part of the thing? Oh, that's the most definitely. Yes. Very important. Would you, can you lose your job if you don't block? You can get taken out the game easily. <laughs> the next play. All right. Were you a, a football player? Um, I played like middle school. But I didn't really have to talk into it. Oh um, yeah, I played a little bit when I was younger, but I didn't play football for a while. So that means means you're pretty smart, and you got to get, get out of that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember I was playing. Um, when I was, I think, 7th, 8th grade, and I got hit pretty hard, and I was like, I think I'm like, I, 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 I can shoot, what the hell, I don't do this. What, what, what is your, what's your game? Uh, uh, do you, just give us a little sense, without, you know, be embarrassed, just tell us if you're any damn good or not. Um, I mean, I think I'm, I'm a solid player. I, you know, we want to defend, um, lead our team next year. We have a lot of good scores coming back and coming in. So I really want to be able to be, you know, our point guard and our leader on the court, um, kind of be an extension of coaching to our, on the court. So that's kind of what I want to do for our team next year. Do you, uh, do you, does the point guard have to study? I mean, do you wind up watching film more than anybody, uh, or do you just play? No, I watch a, um, a lot of film at home and also with the coaches. Um, we have a great staff, and they bring me in a lot to to really go over film and um, all of my mistakes and, and what I did good and stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I do watch it, a lot of film. Right. Uh, Tyler, tell me... Uh, when I was coaching here, we had a guy named Keyshawn Johnson, and he would stand behind me and put his face right there and say, throw me the damn ball. <laughs> Did you do that sort of thing to Coach Elton? No. He's here. Just uh, Never. <laughs> Never. No? Never. No? Why not? I mean, uh, you know. And we got players out there that can make plays at any point in time, so whoever gets the ball, I know they're going to do their thing. So, I mean, if I get the ball at the point in time, I'm going to None of us believe that. <laughs> you want me to rehearse you and tell you how to do it? Clay, 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 he'll do it. He'll, he'll throw you the ball. You, know, you just got to ask him. Or something. What, what do you study in school? Communications. Communications? Yeah. What does that mean? Uh, Talking to girls or what? 
communicating and managing. And and what do you what do you see yourself doing? Um, right now, I'm just looking at more so like businesses and everything like that. So I'm doing everything behind the scenes of like the business part, just more so paperwork and everything like that. How about you? What do you study? I'm um, also communications. You guys are big on this communication stuff. Uh, <clears throat> serious now, Duke, great university, uh, world renowned. Uh, USC growing into becoming a great university. Uh, can you give us a serious evaluation? Who has the best looking girls? <laughs> um, I would have to go with SC on that one for sure. Is that true? Duke, what, what, tell us about Duke. You know, it's, it, we all know about the basketball program. Was, was it fun? Uh, good place to be. Yeah, it was. Um, it was a lot of fun. Uh, small city, Durham, North Carolina. Um, so me being from LA, it was a culture shock for me, definitely. Um, but it was a lot of fun. A lot of great people. Um, the program was a lot of fun. The education was really good. But you know, it was far from home, so I wanted to kind of get back. So you came home, and 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 you're coming into a basketball program that's just going like that, I think, isn't it? Do you have that feeling? Yeah, definitely. We have a, a, a terrific staff, and we have a lot of great players coming in, and a lot of players that just left that were really good, so they kind of pushed us forward and kind of gave us a jump, and we're trying to you know, kind of excel and get better as a team. All right. Tyler, tell them. Talk to us about this team. And each team's got a little different personality. Do you have a sense of what this your new team is going to be like this year? Um, right now we're very hungry just in terms of how the players are practicing and everything like that. Um, in the spring, our defense really picked it up. Like our first couple of practices, they beat us offensive. We was losing. Like, but um, towards the end, we started clicking more. The quarterbacks started trusting all offense and really just developing into it. You just start really playing on one. Who is, is there a defensive back that you, you can't beat, that is, can cover you one on one? Well, don't give me that. Uh, I mean, you know, I mean, is, is that true? Uh, you get open? I get open. That's my well, job. The right there. <laughs> that, we, we should never run the damn ball. Just throw it in. You better set up the pass first. <laughs> No, that's great. You uh, are wide receivers. Uh, now, you know, they're, they're all a little crazy. I mean, Keyshawn Johnson was crazy. Lynn Swan, he's not, he's important now, but he was a little crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, do you, are, are you different? Or are you one of the guys? Do you get dirty? Or do you guys just stay clean and never get, you know, no, block or anything? No, we get dirty. <laughs> we can do whatever it takes to really help our team. So our, our receiving core is really strong this year. Um, we got a, group, a couple of dudes coming in this year, but hopefully they can make a very um, good impact this season. Um, but we, we really do get down to it. You have a team that you the, your least favorite team or the team you want to beat the most? Texas. You, you, yeah. Which team do you want to beat? Texas. Who? Yeah. Texas. Yeah.